Hi guys, Thomas of Friends 47 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Trackmaster 2 Rebecca. First, let's take a look at the scrap card that is included here, and then we'll talk about the engine and everything that's included. So I myself love these flat type wagons, however this one is different. So let's get rid of all of this scrap load that's included there. And you can see that between these two, this on the left right here is one of the older Trackmaster 2 styles, and this here is the newer style. And it's slight differences, but you can tell that there are some differences there. One being the depth of the car. This one has a thinner lip. This one has a thicker side to it, which doesn't look too bad. Um, my least favorite thing about the newer style cars are the built-in couplings, meaning you can't change them out if something happens. Um, overall, it's a little bit taller, too, which looks a little bit weird for this type of car, but nah. Well, I take that back. It's about the same length. Just a deeper depth, really. So, yeah. But, all in all, it's not a bad car. Um, I do like how they put scrap on both sides. It just feels kind of plain. And, I guess it's because of the blue and white. It kind of looks like something American to me. Uh, mainly because of Conrail. This reminds me of their color scheme. Now we're going to go straight into Rebecca. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This doesn't feel right to me. Don't get me wrong, it's a great engine, but this looks weird. This looks weird, and I think it's th the fact that the yellow wheels, there's just there's right here. I feel that if they had lowered this just a tad, it would have looked better, and it looks great from higher angles, but when you're looking at an angle from like this, you, it doesn't look very good. I also don't like how they put these just round little dots for buffers, and also these boxes out here should be closer to here. Um, all in all, it, it's not bad, it's just not great. Um, I do like the printing on the sides, however, I love that it says NWR. That's the first time that a Trackmaster 2 item has said that, so that's really cool. Looking at Rebecca's face is another issue for me because it looks so small uh, compared to other engines especially. It doesn't look proportioned properly. Uh, the top looks great though and, and you know it's not bad. Like I said it's not bad it's just not great. I like how they included her nameplate. To me that's a nice touch and the printing is, overall is very good. I just don't like these indentations but that's for a feature that I'll show in just a second. I feel the tender is the worst done of this pack, second to the freight car before, just because the lettering is amazing, but it's so tall. Maybe it's meant to be that way, but to me I would have preferred it just to be a little bit shorter, and the lining doesn't line up like it should. Uh, for example, if I turn it at an angle like that, you can see that the, the lining just doesn't look right. It, this feels oversized to me. It does have some great details though, like the ladder in the back, the water tank cover, and these two tanks here. However, I wish those were uh, painted. Finally, here's the top of the engine and tender, and you can see that they've done some really good work on the top there. It looks nice. Same way with the tender, they have a little bit of paint there. All in all, not bad. Alright, so next are the features. So, first you get this little piece here that has a bell on the top. And it's painted on both sides. It doesn't look bad. Pretty cool. I do want to show that in the instructions, it tells you to just push this down on here. But you can't really do that because there's such pressure and that's going to bow it out. So you really have to wait till you get the other pieces in to be able to put this on the engine. Second is this piece right here, and this is a steam shovel piece. And all in all, it's not bad. It's great for custom makers like me, um, but very cool. Moves up and down. Not bad. The real gem of this pack, though, isn't the engine or rolling stock. To me, it's this piece right here. This is a sunglass piece with Pinchy. And you can just see right here, like, it opens and closes. I mean, it looks so awesome. It looks just like what we see in the television show and Thomas Magic Railroad movie. I plan on doing something big with this, and you guys will see that soon, but to me, this is one of the spotlights of this pack. Now let's try to put all of this together. So what I recommend you do, take and snap this piece right into here like this. 
and then you snap this piece and like this so you've built the whole assembly basically that's what it looks like like that and then you just take and push the whole thing down till it snaps into place and then you have this pack now it it doesn't like I'm gonna be honest with you Rebecca is never running on this layout like this ever um, but it does look like the scene from the episode so plus for that but I just like these extra parts separately and not on the engine at all alright so let's get a run of Rebecca but first I'm going to show you what it looks like with these accessories from all the different angles like over here and back over here pretty cool I like it alrighty Rebecca first run here we go alright so I do want to say that the layout is kind of a mess right now just ignore that please um, but Rebecca seems to be a good runner she has a little bit of jerkiness going on and when I did turn her on she started for just a second and then stopped immediately however after moving the wheels with just a little bit of force she started up again um, I love the printing details on Rebecca I think those are very cool I like the blue scrap car uh oh well that's not good um, there we go. Oh man. That's why I don't like the accessories on the engines. Let's try this again. Okay. As I was saying, um, I like Rebecca in a way. And here's the bad part. In this newest wave, there was Rebecca, there was Animal Percy, and there was Monkey King Thomas. And all of them weren't that great. Rebecca is the best out of the three, but that's not saying a whole bunch. Don't get me wrong, I really like this engine, and I like her as a character, but I do feel that she just, I don't know, I think Fisher-Price slacked off on this one. The hardest thing for me to get used to is just seeing these wheels doing nothing and looking out of place, especially from an angle like this. You just see the big black box underneath. Um, but like I said, it's not something that's hugely bad. I don't know. Out of the 10 star rating, I would probably give her a, like, a 6, to be honest. Um, I think she is the best out of the range. I haven't got the other two. I don't really think that I'm going to get the other two, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you like Rebecca, both as a Trackmaster 2 engine and as a character. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that. Anyway, this is Thomas Friends 47 signing off. I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.